The Kelpie's Wife There once was a Kelpie's wife, who lived beneath the loch with her baby son, whom she loved dearly. The Kelpie's wife loved her husband, but she missed the warmth of the sun and her family, for the Kelpie had stolen her away from them without so much as a farewell, as is a custom of Kelpies who steal their wives. One day, when her husband was out hunting victims, the cold and the darkness became unbearable, and she fled to the surface, leaving behind her baby son, for she knew the Kelpie loved his son and would care for him. Once at the surface, she basked in the warmth of the sun, and soon made her way to her parents' cottage. Her family were overjoyed to see her, for they thought she had died, and so they held a great Kaylee. The Kaylee dragged on into the night, and the Kelpie's wife soon forgot her husband and child with the joy of being reunited with her family. During the night there came a great storm, and suddenly, from outside the cottage, they could hear the champing of a horse's hooves. Her husband had found his wife gone, and was furious, for he loved her so greatly that he viewed her escape as the ultimate crime. Taking the form of a black stallion, he banged on the cottage door, but he could not enter, for he had not been given permission to enter and cross the threshold. He called for her in rageful screams. The Kelpie's wife was frightened, and also sad, for she loved her husband, but wished to stay with her family. Eventually, during the night, they heard a great fud as something at the door. After this, there was silence. In the morning, when the Kelpie had returned to the loch, they found lying on the ground the decapitated head of the Kelpie's son. In revenge for his wife's betrayal, he had slain his only son. This was a price to pay for breaking a Kelpie's heart. The Kelpie's wife lived contently and was never again bothered by the Kelpie, who had learnt his lesson of love.